Well, tough afternoon in Allen Arena for Lipscomb as their six-game winning streak comes to an end as they drop a five-set match to the Stetson Hatters. Joined now by Lipscomb head coach Brandon Rosenthal alongside Benny Lopes. I'm Justin Seaman. And, Coach, this was one. First set looked really good from you guys. You get a big lead. You see Stetson come back, but your girls hang on there. I thought the turning point really in this match was set two. You again have a lead, and then Stetson able to come back, and they get the win. I mean, this Stetson team, so good defensively. They just make you work for every single point. Yeah, they do. And, you know, uh, this was the message all week, you know. Uh, and, and even though you know it's going to happen, they, they do a fantastic job. So credit to them. Yeah, set two is kind of weird, you know. Uh, we just couldn't get it done. And unfortunately, I probably made uh, didn't make a quick enough sub in a couple places and, uh, you know, kind of bit us down the stretch uh, of set two. Uh, set three, just really didn't see that energy. Uh, you know, made, made a little run at the end. And then set four, I thought we did a nice job in set four. And, you know, again, uh, executing down the stretch was just, uh, it wasn't there, but that was kind of the issue all day for us. So, uh, you know, we got to lear learn from this, uh, unfortunately. And, uh, you know, but this is a, just a special group. And, uh, you know, I, I would imagine that we'll take it a step further. Well, Coach, obviously tough loss, but season's not over by any stretch of the imagination. I want to ask you about one player, Megan Cooper, career high in kill kills today. Can you just talk about what she has done this season and really elevate her game, especially coming back from an injury? You know, Coop has done a great job. I think just the sitting out is, is a tough part. I think five and a half, six weeks. Um, you know, she is the player that, you know, again, as I've said many times, that we knew she was. And, uh, you know, she does so much for us. And uh, today was one of those ones where we kind of got her going in spurts. And then it just... Um, you know, especially in the fourth set, we were just feeding her balls, feeding her balls, and, you know, she was executing. And then uh, down the stretch, uh, you know, they, they made some nice adjustments. I don't, I don't want to say that she didn't execute, it's just we didn't score. And ultimately, uh, that's what they want to do. They want to keep the balls alive. And then, you know, so, uh, you know, that's on us, you know, down the stretch. But Coop's been great. I thought she, a little shaky start at first, but uh, she settled in. Well, you finish up now a four-game homestand. Now you're going to go on the road, and you get a tough road swing here. you got to go to Liberty on Halloween, and then you're going to finish up the road swing against Kennesaw State, two top-quality teams in the A-Sun. Yeah, I mean, this is what uh, this conference is all about right now. So it's uh, it's tough, and no uh, match is an easy one, and you kind of have to keep grinding away. So it's uh, for us, it's uh, you know one of those ones we got to keep battling. Tough loss today for Lipscomb. They lose it in five sets to Stetson. They'll be back in action on Halloween night, October 31st, against Stetson. Keep up with all your Lipscomb volleyball news at LipscombSports.com.